Hello. Uh, haven't made a video in quite a while, but it just occurred to me as I was doing this today, I'm changing out food out of my woodpecker feeders, the suet um, that I buy. Very convenient. They seem to like it. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of the other birds like it too if they can get at it. Um, it took me a few years to figure this out. The, um, the woodpeckers, they're made to do what they do, hang on things, balance on their tails and stuff like that. They have long bills, but um, it does happen that at some point they cannot reach all of the food. I noticed that. Uh, first few months I did that, I, I would, eh, it's not much left. It's kind of getting hard. Maybe they don't like it anyways. So I would just toss it and put a new one in. But after a while, I decided that was too lazy. Let's, uh, you know, I got tools, I got uh, saws, I got ideas. Let's just try. What I came up with was uh, just the simple thing of cutting a piece of quarter inch plywood and putting it behind the food so that that food is pushed out further and they can reach it because these boxes uh, they come in different sizes but they all have the same problem eventually especially if they're made to hold this of course any place that sells this probably sells the ones that it fits in that's the case with me and I bought them at several places so um, two things I've done for quite a while now I usually do this twice so that I have two sets of inserts right now um, I put a new one in here I put a half used one in here and I'm still using two pieces of wood because my wood is just laying around it's not always the same thickness um, my favorite ones obviously are the ones that are square and it's plywood it's easy to handle easy to cut accurately but whatever you get in there works and Another thing I've been doing for a while is uh, I started out just using the same container and when they couldn't reach it anymore, now this is too far gone, there's almost nothing in there, so I'm going to put this in another one, but I started, when I first put it in, I cut off the edges around the top because there's a certain amount of that that's not even necessary and that helps because these ridges or um, overhangs of the material that it's packaged in are meant to hold it up here as close as possible but it doesn't always work that way and I find sometimes these are packaged in a way that there's too much of a gap there so the birds are at an advantage disadvantage because it's already too far away so especially the young ones so uh, I just cut it right off and that way it's not a problem it'll fit in there and then uh, I will cut it down I've cut them down pretty far uh, actually the ones I cut down the furthest I've already put up right there and one over there and these come in different versions so it really depends on how it's designed but anyways just a, a piece of wood put it in behind it when they don't seem to like it anymore, they're spending more time at the other feeders, it's probably because they can't reach it. I pull it down, I put another piece in that fits and, and brings it up to the right level. And uh, I'm retired, so it's not a big deal. It's not a lot of work, easy to do. So I just thought some people may uh, be like me, and be throwing it away needlessly. So it's a, just an easy fix, and also these things wear out. I've had these for years, and I'll throw them out and buy new ones, but as long as I can cob it together and it's working, the birds don't care. And I use little uh, clips to hold them shut after the clips break off that, that come on it. So this is missing a clip on one side. 
this is also this one stays closed pretty well just with the one so uh, just a couple ideas also I made some hangers that work better they're much easier to get up in the air um, some of them are not very well made and they make it difficult so um, basically I just use an old this is an old pool tool for a vacuum or something there can't remember but um this is what I used to get these up there away from my cats these birds are pampered the cats cannot reach them they don't even worry about them but the cats spend a lot of time looking at them Gotta have a little coordination. I don't. Oh. There we go. Hope that helps you. Have a good one.